Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Govinsky's Tutorials. Today I'm looking at Koala FX from Elf Audio, and they are very, very, very famous for their Koala sampler, which a lot of people see as an absolute game changer. Now from what I've seen in the reaction in the Audiobus community, this one is another massive hit in the making. Uh, I think at the moment of speaking it's number four in the App Store. It does a lot, it's well designed, it's really, you know, such good value for money. It's only a few dollars. The old uh, cliche, what well, it's only the cost of a coffee, <laughs> a large coffee. That's definitely worth the money. I think it's a no-brainer purchase. Okay, so today I'm going to look at this on something more percussive. I'm using a preset, uh, sorry, a sample inside Mobius Lab. They've got a lot of great samples in there. Um, I'm not applying any effects from Mobius. I mean, Mobius is a multi-effects processor in its own right. If you haven't checked out my video on that, please do. Really great FX unit as well. Um, okay, and then I'm going to check it on a bit of Ravenscroft piano. Okay, so without further ado, let's first listen to a little bit of Mobius Dry, and then I'll stick on Koala, and I'll just play through a few things, and then after that I'll explain what's going on. So let me explain what's happening there. Basically, when we load up a preset, now there are only a couple of presets that come with it. The idea is you set up your own presets. But when we load a preset, we have eight different scenes. So if I press on A, we can see that all that A has is a little bit of reverb. And here we see what's in B. Now, setting up a scene is very easy. You basically just, you know, draw something in. Let's say I add a little bit of crush, bit of pitch, bit of comb filter, whatever. And then I jump over to scene B, add some more things over here. And then when I jump back to scene A, it will have automatically remembered what I set up. There is no need to save anything. So it's really easy to set things up in this. What's also cool is that it has the XY pads where we can morph between things. So let's hear and let's just see how that works. So basically, if I press here, you can see that B, C, F, and G have all become large. Now, so basically, we're hearing equal amounts of each of those presets. When I slide up here, it's going to be just B, right? So we can play around, and I love the I love the way they have that visual representation there with the letters. It really helps to understand what's going on. Okay, let's have a listen. Right, so we can morph between presets like that. So basically, if we're just pressing on the scene buttons, then we're jumping between presets, well, between scenes in preset. And if we use the XY, we're morphing, we're getting blends. And you can see in the background that the faders are moving as they morph between the different presets. Okay, now another cool thing we have is the order button. Basically, order allows us to drag around the effects so we can change the order. So basically, the order is that the signal will come in here on the left. So the first thing that will be applied in this arrangement is crush. And then if you put on pitch, and let me turn order off. Okay, so before it gets to pitch, it's, pitch, it's going through crush. And then, it's, then it goes through the comb and so on. So it's basically a left to right order. Um, 
but maybe we decide, well, no, I want the comb filter first, then I just drag that over here, right? So you can drag everything around to your heart's content. Really good. Okay, um, what else do we have? Well, we can clear things. If I press the clear button, everything will just disappear. It'll all be blank. Start from scratch. Um, hold. If we press hold, and hold is enabled by default, I think. Uh, as soon as I touch the screen, as soon as I put something in, it'll it'll be kept. I click on another thing and that'll be added, right? Um, but if I press, let me just clear those. Right, if I depress hold, um, I'm pressing on that dub button at the moment. As soon as I take the mouse off or take my finger off, then it disappears. So that's the difference between having hold selected and not. Okay, so now let's hear this on piano. So we've got Ravenscroft piano being played by Polyphase, which is a generative MIDI sequencer. And I thought it would be nice to put it on a bit of piano just to let you hear how, you know, how much we can mangle things. We can really transform the sound that we've got. Okay, so let me see first. Let's just first listen to this on the ambience preset. Okay. Okay, so this is the dry piano. Let's morph with the XY pad. So obviously on this kind of ambient thing, you're probably going to want to morph very, very slowly and smoothly. I mean, the way I was just moving around very quickly at the start was just to let you hear very clearly what's going on. In a live performance situation, that wouldn't sound great. So nice and slow morphing would be the way to go. Let's listen to uh, how we can really mess this preset up or mess this sound up. Let's put on this disintegrate one. We can get really lo-fi here. Okay, so that's working with presets. Let's just look at, you know, just playing around and experimenting. I stress that this is not supposed to sound like a performance. I'm just kind of letting you hear what different combinations of effects can sound like.
with things like the cutter. In my experience, it's very unlikely to sound good if you just start randomly trying to dial it in when you're performing live. It's the sort of thing that you would really need to set up in advance and make sure that the, the rhythm that it's getting is working with the actual material that you're putting through it. So there we go. Really great. Uh, wouldn't think twice about buying this at the price. Have fun, everybody. Please, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Click the bell after you subscribe to make sure you get notifications. And feel free to write a comment. Thanks, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Be well.